manners and respect family manners and total respect now in this video i'm going to highlight i'm going to show you the different tone of the prime minister when he's dealing with certain people there's a different tone when he's dealing with the people who are of the lower echelon of society well as you know we just have one of the biggest most disgraceful most embarrassing most shameful financial scam in jamaica with a scam hussein bolt and listen to the tone the prime minister use when he's dealing with these people who are involved listen this is not a sunday school teacher family however let's all bow our heads to the words of bro god <laughs> this morning i received a general briefing from the Minister of Finance, representatives of the FSC and the FID, the Commissioner of Police, and the Attorney General's Department on allegations of significant fraud at Stocks and Securities Limited, a non-bank financial institution which is of grave national concern. Well, that's it, Owen. When we have the biggest and the most disgraceful, the most shameful financial crime in Jamaica, when you have uptown people, white collar criminals involved, that's the tone. Now, let us listen to the contrast people. Listen to this. And I am indicating from this platform that I will be having a special word to the commissioner that that parent must be found and an example made of him. The full force of the law should be brought to bear on that parent. And family, Maybe that parents the Prime Minister is talking about deserve punishment. I'm not trying to go against that. I'm just saying, when you're dealing with white collar criminal, you sound like a Sunday school teacher. Just listen to this, people, when we have this most disgraceful, the biggest financial scam that everybody know about in the world. Listen how the Prime Minister go about it in his tone. Listen to his speech. Like all Jamaicans, at home and abroad, I am thoroughly disgusted and upset by revelations in the public domain surrounding this matter. I'm very concerned and sympathetic to all those hard-working Jamaicans who at this moment are uncertain of the status of funds they have invested with the institution in question. Well, people, if you did not know the Prime Minister's voice, you would have think that was a Sunday school teacher. They were always calm in a, in a time like this, when the most disgraceful, most shameful, disgusting financial crime going on. Did you hear the tone he's using when it comes to that? Different people, different tone. Now, hear this. Now is not the time for us to pull up stumps, to back off, to ease up. No, it's the time that the government of Jamaica must redouble our efforts because we do have the criminal gangs, the organized underworld on the run, and we must chase those crazy criminals out of town. No, people, I am not against the Prime Minister's tough talk on crime. I like the tough talk when it comes to crime, and I think criminals must be chased out of town. They must be chased to prison, a matter of fact. But you must spread that tough talk right across the board when it come to man will live up town. Same way with the man will live in the ghetto. You understand me, I say? So make we hear the Prime Minister claim say my talk tough when it come to these financial criminals, these white collar criminals. Make we listen. The Prime Minister's way of talking tough to them. Listen to this now. I am satisfied that the entities understand the implications and the potentially complex nature of this matter and the need for transparency, diligence, and prudence in all their operations. The coordination within the law among the various entities was also evident, which is a good sign for efficient and timely action. A thorough investigation is being undertaken to identify the perpetrators and colluders involved. Like I'm saying, I am not against the Prime Minister's tough stance against crime. I'm not into criminals. 
same thing goes for white collar criminals same thing goes for criminals who bring all type of stuff into the country same thing goes thing go for everybody one law we should have in jamaica not two laws listen to this people it's always a radam when it comes to poor people and the lower class that's where the keys so all of those little boys running around with guns who believe that two of them will go in front of a judge and they will plead a case and they will go through some bargaining process and they get six months and come out rubbish what them say radam <laughs> I agree with that speech, that radam. But that same speech should be extended to white collar criminals too. Uptown criminals, big money criminals, white powder criminals. Not just for the youth in you know, the ghetto. Should be radam right across the board. One law for all. Listen to this. With a view to bringing them to justice as well as to trace the funds and secure forfeiture of assets acquired with the stolen funds. The affected investors and the public can be assured that the investigative and prosecutorial agencies have the necessary competences and resources and have already started to act decisively to gather information and evidence. No effort will be spared in uncovering the full extent of the fraudulent activities and in bringing the perpetrators to justice. While this matter has sparked immediate fear and general concern, there is absolutely no need for panic about the strength and soundness of the financial system as a whole. So as you can hear, the Prime Minister people is not angry about this. He's talking about what he's gonna do, but he's not in an angry tone. Like how he is angry about other things. He should be angry about this. I am angry and ashamed. It's embarrassing. If I was the Prime Minister, I would be coming out there slamming. But no, not so for white collar criminals. Listen what the Prime Minister have for the rest of us. This is not for the white collar criminal, I know. This remedy is what he have for us. Listen. My job is to ensure that my people are safe and I will not stop until that is achieved. So will we need the SOEs? Yes, there will always be SOEs. There will always be SOEs. There will always be SOEs. So guys, now you can hear the different tone of the Prime Minister when he's dealing with different people different class of people i am not i'm gonna repeat again i am not against a tough tone against criminals and criminality and the fight against crime what i am upset about what i don't like is the separate tones when it comes to different class of people people that live in different geological location from different background get different treatment right opposed to some people that are from different background and different geological location we want the law to spread equally right across the board and that is my mission thank you guys for watching this video if you like this page go ahead and like and subscribe you can also share don't forget to click the bell don't forget that so whenever i go live and post these videos you guys can get it raw all right and fresh have a wonderful day guys thank you so much bye